and the housing for our um, national housing was certainly set up to provide affordable housing. Now, what I love about affordable housing is that you can move from any income group to the other. <laughs> I've been reading some documents and there is no way where they say that the national housing should build the cheap houses. <laughs> but that does not mean that we are supposed to concentrate on all, all the areas where we expect high returns. National housing is indeed supposed to go into areas where other private sector operators cannot play. A well-known fact that there is a housing deficit in Uganda currently standing at 2.1 uh, million housing units. Part of the reasons why the houses are very costly and unaffordable to most Ugandans is this high deficit in housing units. Secondly, our children will not forgive us if we leave this city the way it is. If all of us became uncomfortable with what we see, then we'll get a solution to get out of it. And it's more or less, we need to bring these people back to town. And I still believe that Baise, Kawembe, Chiguri, all these places actually we can bring all the people who work in this city within about 10 kilometers if we redevelop the slums. The developer buys land, puts up the house, brings the electricity on board, grades the road, blah, blah. So how do you expect that person to produce an affordable house? So private-public partnerships are going to be key in order to ensure that the cost of housing is lowered because government comes and gives some of these services. The Minister of State for Housing and our commitment, we are now going to use this policy to ensure that we move the housing sector in the center of government planning and government administration. Welcome to our meeting of the Momentos. Mr. Rumba, can you bring them forward?